Good morning, everyone. We're here. We're, um, my name is Monica Pena, and I'm with EGBI. And we're, a, a, if you don't know about us so far, we're, we're a nonprofit. We train, coach, support small business. And I'm happy today I'm here with Tuki. I'm so excited to have Tuki here today with Cuba 512. Welcome, Tuki. Tell us Thank about Cuba. Yes, welcome, welcome. Tell us about Cuba 512. And most importantly, tell us about your delicious food, because I'm a fan. I love Cuba 512 food. Thank you so much, Monica. Thank you for the opportunity. Good morning, everybody. So yes, our a small uh, restaurant started back uh, in 2015. That's when we opened our first location. Our food is a class classic, authentic Cuban. We use uh, family recipes. Uh, it's a home style like grandma used to make. My husband is the one that cooks. And uh, our, the concept of Cuban food has changed a little bit because, um, you know, um, back in the in the 60s, it was a more more classic. But now the traditional Cuban food for us at our restaurant is less about the presentation. It's more about the taste and the amount because our our dishes are really, really, really big. So uh, you have to try it because there's always some uh, food to take it home. Monica. Yes, tell, tell me, tell me. I lost it. I lost it a little bit. So. Oh, so okay. No, that's okay. Tell me about. Um, tell me about. I'm a big fan of your food, uh, Cuba Five One Two. Tell me about. Um, your husband is a chef. Tell me about your your path to the U.S. and how you both created Cuba Five One Two. Yeah, sure. So um, my, my husband left Cuba in um, um, 2008, and he began a particular tour uh, starting in South America. So we met in Ecuador, then he went to Peru, Bolivia, Argentina, Brazil, Mexico. And then finally, he ended up here in Austin. Because at uh, Austin, I got transferred from a construction company from Ecuador to Austin. So that's why we came to Austin. So he always wanted to promote his beautiful island, Cuba. So his dream was, because he had experience on, uh, by working as a manager at Cuban restaurants. So he always wanted to promote Cuba and uh, he wanted to start opening like a food truck, but then we ended up opening um, on 2015, uh, a small Cuban restaurant on Westgate and William Cannon down south. But then we expanded on uh, after like two years, we took the premise next door. So we expanded. Then we opened an, a small corner called El Circulo that's for kids. So it's amazing because while we, you, we, you go, you enjoy a mojito, enjoy a Cuban classic while your kids are playing. So it's perfect. Then last year on April uh, 2019, we opened our second uh, location in downtown. So it was a dream come true. That was our American dream. Good. And um, good. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. And you also had mentioned when I talked to you once, you had mentioned that really opening up the, the restaurant was a manifestation of you both acquiring the American dream. Tell us, tell us about that and what that's meant to you. Yes, because uh, as I said, you know, he always wanted to promote Cuba and this is the manifestation of our American dream because we ended up having two locations. We expanded. I mean, we're uh, increasing the sales. Everything was doing really, really, really good. 
people, is, you know, we start like really small, but then uh, we also introduce catering. So we were doing events. We had a lot of like reservations for side by side with graduations, but you know, then COVID came <laughs> and oh. here we are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad you've stayed in touch. Um, you're a, a client of EGBI and, and you said you've been a uh, in touch with us since 2013, you said, and yes, and yes. how how has EGBI helped you? So I knew EGBI since 2013. City of Austin recommended you as an incubator. So you know, I started reading, and you were always on top of everything. You know about laws and seminars and stuff. So when COVID happened, I get in touch with you guys. And Leo is being amazing because he called me back like immediately and he he invited me to one of your uh, webinars. So it's been like really, really helpful because you guys are like updated, like in a minute, if something new is coming up, you're like updating clients and you're always like person to person because he's been texting me, uh, sending me emails and stuff. So I really, really thank you guys because you've been amazing. Good. And you did mention that your business has been affected, like so many businesses has been affected by the pandemic. Tell us how you've had to adjust during this time. Well, so we had to adjust uh, by uh, doing only takeout delivery and curbside since March. We also had to close our downtown location because our target was people that work in downtown and they go out for lunch and happy hours. So since everybody is working remotely, so we had to close it. And we're just operating the downtown, the sub location. And we've been trying to open twice, but we haven't done it because for us, our priority is our customers and employees, and we didn't want to put them in risk. So we're stu- is still doing that. We're adjusting and doing neighborhood deliveries and trying to promote and also probably eventually we want to introduce merchandising from our brand, Cuba 512. So stay in touch. Good, good. Yes, we'll definitely stay in touch um, during all this. Tell us, we too at EGBI, we've had to... Um, figure out ways of doing things differently because of course um, our priority is, is the safety of, of staff and our clients, everyone we serve. Um, so EGBI quickly moved everything online. Um, but, and we, we created weekly meetings that we've been meeting with our clients um, and, and figure out, like you said, um, staying as ahead of things as possible um, just so that we can inform our clients, what um, have these meetings meant to you or even the support that you've received from EGBI at the, at this time during the pandemic? Well, during these difficult times, you know, it's been very, very supportive. I mean, the with the new regulations, the new laws, that everything is changing so fast. I mean, you guys are being... It's a success because you're always doing the seminars, you know, specifically speaking for me, it's been really helpful with PPP and EIDL, the SBA loans, Mm -hmm. because it's been so confusing. So you guys been helping me out so much because without you, I mean, to be honest, I couldn't been done with everything I've done as far as, you know, the, the application, I mean, the forgiveness. So you guys... And, and the the most that, that I like it, that you're always, you know, like checking up, how you guys doing? So where are you guys at? So that, you know, that's a, a really useful for us. Yeah. And we've been trying to keep our clients as updated as possible with all the new grants. As soon as they roll Correct. out, we try to get it out as quickly as possible and, and answer any questions. So yes, yes. We're, we're happy to be a resource for small businesses. Um, well, and another thing, so so each year, EGBI organizes um, Celebrate and Success, and this year we're going to have our, our main fundraiser for the year will be September 9th, 
And at lunchtime and with the theme of a virtual picnic, just like our clients that we serve, we've had to move a lot of what we do or change the way we do things. So we always loved our events and celebrating the success and achievement of our clients. And um, but now we're, we're, of course, going to have to do it virtually. But we do have an interactive part. Um, anyone that chooses can purchase a, a picnic pack. And in that picnic pack, we're actually have we one thing we do have much pride is when we do look for vendors for for our fundraiser, we always choose our own clients. And we're so happy to announce that this year, Cuba 512 is going to be supplying in the picnic packs, Ropa Vieja. Can you tell us, for all those that don't know what Ropa Vieja is, explain what that is and how that that's prepared so because I'm so excited to have Cuba 512 um, as the provider for Ropa Vieja this year. Monica, first of all, thank you so much for choosing us. I mean, that means a lot to us. And Ropa Vieja, I mean, you choose the classic Cuban dish. It's the national dish of Cuba. And Ropa Vieja uh, started in Spain. It's named to translate to all clothes. There's a story that we don't know is a fact or no, but there's a story of a homeless, like 500 years ago, that was uh, shredded his old clothes by, by himself. And then a miracle occurred and he converted to a uh, shredded beef. We don't know if it's a fact or no. The, the fact that we know is that Ropa Vieja is delicious. And it's basically, it's shredded beef with peppers, onions, and tomato sauce with Cuban secret spices. So always uh, you serve with uh, rice. We have yellow rice, white rice, congreese. Congreese is the mix, mix of white rice and black beans. And also you can add a side. Our sides are maduros, which are the sweet plantains, Tostones, which are they are the green plantains fried, and also you can get yuca con mojo. Yuca is kind of cassave with mojo de ajo, is a garlic oil sauce. So you're not going to be get disappointed. But ropa vieja for me is my favorite Cuban dish. Great, thank you, thank you for sharing. I'm so excited. I'm actually want to eat some ropa vieja today <laughs> so i might i might Great. go busy Me too. <laughs> yes yes and well i'm so excited thank you so much you know for sharing your story um again like i mentioned this year celebrate and success will be on um, september 9th at 12 p.m we um we do have our we do have our Eventbrite up that you can go ahead and just register to, to attend, um, celebrate and success virtually. You can um, select to, um, to purchase a picnic pack. We'll have food from Cuba 512 and, and from another one of our clients and, and, and other surprises. So, and we do have a uh, opportunity for you to buy raffle tickets. So please, it is our annual fundraiser. We um, we couldn't do all that we do without the support from our community, um, our community support. So thank you so much, Duki, for being here. Um, thank you. And, and so why why should people support our our annual fundraiser this year? Please support um, EJBI, I mean, with this event, with this fundraise, because uh, in that way they can um, support, they can keep supporting the small business like we are. So please contribute is a little something and you're going to try Ropa Vieja so you can lose this big opportunity. Yeah, I'm you so excited. You won't get disappointed. Oh, yeah. 
good. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. For everyone out there, please visit Cuba 512. They're a local family run business. Their food is delicious. I've got to go and write you a testimonial right now. And I think I'll head over there after this. So thank you so much for joining me, Tuki.